Are you guys replenished with ammo as well? Seems like it. That's great. That's great, because we need you guys. We need you guys badly. This unit's gonna provide air support in the south. The other units are gonna do it up here. Okay, that is what I like to see. No, that was a bad decision, but it worked. <laughs> That's pretty okay. I just wanted to click on some units and do some things. Okay. Oh, damn. He is gone. Oh, he's in the river. He is in the river. When they're in the river, it's easy to kill them. And they're dead. Good job, my airplanes. There's definitely some enemy units in there. Okay, it's enemy artillery. Lots of it. That is very, 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 very scary. Okay, he's dead. There's some enemy anti-tank guns as well. So it's just, in general, a bad place to be. I wish that I could replenish you, but it doesn't seem like we can. Okay. That's good. Can we move in there? I don't think so. I can move you in here. Let's try. Okay, the arsenal of Toledo is in our hands. Good, that is a nice supply depot. The problem is, yeah, it's actually mostly out of supplies. A reap. And after this, we only need to capture Getafe airfield, Madrid airfield, Madrid central station, and Madrid supply. Okay. And they have anti-aircraft guns, okay? That was a lot of damage dealt to my poor, poor JU-87s. It's the Spofers. I wonder if it's got range over this guy as well. Oh, damn it! What is the range of that? Oh my god. What is the range of this? Air attack, soft, doesn't tell me. Well, it's very, very large. We've just, we've just seen that in action. Really, you're telling me that you'd lose, you'd lose the unit. That's because you're in a river, are you? Now here's the dilemma. Okay. Uh, yeah. Despite being an anti-tank piece, you definitely have some some punch to you. We're gonna need to use our artillery very well in this. Because our air support is not gonna be that effective thanks to that Bofors.
damn it. And there we are. That aircraft is gone. My infantry is dead. Okay. Well, this presents a few issues. Take care of those Soviet tanks, please. Our Shukas are going to be excellent at that. As you can just to see right now. You get into the supply depot. Unfortunately, you cannot take on that enemy infantry, which is weird because they've only got one hard attack, whereas you have free soft attack. Oh well. I guess that's fine. We're gonna start to take care of their artillery, slowly but surely. Slow and steady will win the race up here. There's gonna be no easy solution. No, that was not what I wanted to happen, but that's fine, I guess. Are you replenished in terms of ammo? You are. Great. Because this allows us to hit... No, it doesn't. God damn it. Oh, well, next turn we can start to hit this infantry. Because this infantry is something that I'm relatively afraid of. Okay, at least down here, things have gone very well. Good, he is dead. So what we can do now is move up this artillery piece and use it up north because the main objective has been seized, Toledo, and the enemy is... Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to happen! Yeah, this... Um, this mechanic of left-click does everything is not my favorite. Let's just say that. Yeah, so we're gonna need to capture this airfield as well. Unfortunately, there's some enemy ground troops in here. That is very, very sad. My recon, I'm just gonna keep him here so that he can recon. Keep an eye on the situation. All right, so the sudden threat should be mostly gone. There goes my anti-aircraft guns. Okay, so my panzers are still alive, but just a hair. He's almost out of ammunition. No, he is out of ammunition. That is bad. Because you're not in range of my supply depot, are you? These are planes can work on the enemy infantry with basically impunity. Oh yeah, he's dead. That is a very, very good help. Because this means that we can move up this artillery piece up to here. We can use our tank. Oh my god. At least tell me you are gonna kill him. Yes, you will. Great. Him being dead is a very good boon to us. No! Hate you so much. I wanted to select the plane. Ah, this mechanic is just so annoying. All right. Wow, he was crushed. Anyway, the idea here is to just bypass them and get some units to uh, get off the airfield. That is the whole point of all of this. I don't particularly care about what they do and how, but yeah, that's the objective. 
we are left with not a lot of units, to be honest. I, this was a bad idea to move this infantry up here, but hey, it has to be done. Unfortunately, we're not going to get brilliant victory. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, wow. Infantry is actually behaving themselves very good. Yes, there's the problem up here of, um, yeah, there's a very, very, very big issue. Oh, he's going to be out of fuel if I move here. He's an anti-tank gun. Okay, that's very, very good, actually. Very good information as well. Want to take care of that artillery piece? There we go. So he is receiving ammunition now. Good. So he's going to be able to fire basically indefinitely. Move up. We want to take care of the artillery because that's what's stopping our infantry from having a chance of uh, going in there and crushing the enemy forces. Is here under the range of that anti-air gun here was, and that's free tiles. It is under range of that. Sad. Anyway. At least we can move up our regulars up here. That was a bad move. I realize this now. Anyway, we're going to keep our HQ here in Toledo just to make sure that they don't recap that. So now our, our ground units can advance towards the objective. This infantry is going to stay here. This recon... You know... Yeah, but if he's not here, no one will get line of sight on them. So no, the recon needs to stay here. Okay. Yeah, it was expected. Oh yeah, how it's your coverage, working together very well. Okay, that's very good damage, that's very good damage. Yes, Getafe airfield is ours. And actually, we can land our BF-109 here. Oh, he's still out of ammunition. Sigh. Howitzers, okay. Okay, now how can we use these airplanes? Unfortunately, all of this is under the radius of that anti-aircraft gun. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to come down here, bomb that anti-tank gun, just to make sure that it cannot do anything funny. Okay, now we just need to grab these three points. Yes. Yes. That's what I like to see. Unfortunately, he is out of ammunition completely. But we do have an ace up our sleeve. He is dead. Yes! Now we also have vision of that AA piece. He is dead. That was a bad move, but it worked. That is ours, and now we can move up. And destroy the AA gun. 
Oh, no, no need. We can just grab the thing. Good, normal victory. So, okay, that's the end screen. Looks like uh, <laughs> he's actually moving in. Yes, so uh, that is our score. A thousand, oh no, that's our, uh, whatchamacallit, our money. Prestige, a thousand for eighty-four. Awards signed at Legion Condor. That's probably for our normal victory. Tank. That's the kills and that's the losses, as expected. And we got a new rank, Lieutenant General, whatever that means. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the first mission. I think I will end the video right now. I hope you've enjoyed. I will probably leave a link to the game in the description if you want to check it out. Again, it's very early access right now, but it's got some promise. Gameplay is very similar to uh, Panzer General and Panzer Corps. So if you have played that, well, you shouldn't have any problems. And this looks like it's like the more uh, overall strategic picture of, uh, you know, how you're going to build your army and keep it throughout your, you know, your days. How the game works is that, well, if it's the same as Panzer Corps, is that you have a core of like, uh, units that you buy and maintain for the shop between missions and then you are assigned extra mission units that aren't permanent uh, basically every time you play a mission so that's basically how it works and it's a system that works no need to no need to change it and yeah so again lots of similarities to Panzer Corps and Panzer General but that's not necessarily bad they're good games so I do enjoy that and I mean the graphics aren't like there aren't like I guess you could say good in terms of how they look and uh but they look good as in the art style and the way the game conveys information to you graphically works pretty well the main gripe I have is with the interface yet uh, but you know there it's gonna it's gonna get some changes and of course the control of you, the units with left click both to order them to attack and to order them to move and to select them or and that that's free things <laughs> but uh yeah that's bad it's just straight up bad so yeah uh next mission looks like it's Poland and yeah so the tension in relationship with Poland has become intolerable the Polish issue must be resolved once and for all so that's what we're gonna do and these are the skills that you own. Huh. This looks like there's 100 HQ experience. So there's also another currency HQ experience. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, I want to gonna end it now. That was my quick thoughts. I'm gonna probably record the mission for the Battle of Poland in one of these days and upload them. So yeah, I hope that's gonna be good. I hope you have enjoyed. I will see you soon and have a good day.